Welcome to another cook show still going very coconutty and both concepts are going to have coconut sweet and savory again I hope you enjoyed the um, the co uh, chocolate and uh, coconut flour bars with the hondwa and also the imli chutney and the dahi palle amazing way to make dahi palle with the air fryer so so let's get cooking making donuts with coconut flour so this is people who have uh, celiac conditions or wheat sensitivities or wheat allergies and i'm trying to steer the public and give them new ideas okay so here is my two concepts i've got ready uh, and the savory is going to be something that actually looks like rice, but I'll leave you to doodle when the camera focuses on that. What do you think this is? This is a coconut ba flour based uh, donut. So here I'm going in with a quarter cup mix here into my bowl. All the dry ingredients will be mixed. A pinch of salt. Half a teaspoon of good vanilla. Uh, extract not flavor flavors don't do anything it's just a marketing a product that has nothing I have in a quarter cup of agave already mixed my uh, egg free powder uh, so that is a quarter cup of agave with the egg free powder And the fragrance is amazing uh, mix that up with the oil as well uh, this is the um, coconut oil a quarter cup of the coconut oil should be melted down mix it all up quickly and you will see how the batter is formed although this recipe of mine is quite large but I'm just making a, a few donuts just to show you the concept and then all you have to do is multiply look at that what a wonderful mix that was a few seconds of whipping your children at home they're craving for something that you know probably is not healthy a quarter teaspoon of uh, baking soda not baking powder two different concepts uh, baking soda and baking powder to give that rising agent and that's it done so either you can roll them out but just to make kids excited and to make things fun I'll be just doing a different concept keep watching the oven is heated at 175 degrees that will take about 20 minutes or less the agave syrup was the sweetener that was used here so I'm going to be taking out my um, chopping board dust that up with a bit of flour and two things you can do is either just roll them out to make them into balls and then pinch a hole and that becomes your donut but what am I doing I'm just flattening that out uh, here what I'm showing you so I'm going to take this dust my board put my whole mix here flatten it down and when something is left over you can actually shape it in any shape or form there is no rule make something exciting for your kids and uh, I'm sure they love it and because we've used coconut oil you can see it's just not sticky kind it's mess free so taking it down to a quarter inch thick knowing that the baking powder soda is going to help as a rising agent roll this out to be all even any cracks that come through can be repaired 
in the interim there. So just to make things exciting, maybe it's your daughter's birthday, maybe it's your son's birthday. All you do is take anything, any kind of cutters which you have, biscuit cutters, and make the shapes that will make excite your kid. Maybe we'll do two heart shapes. It could be your daughter's birthday. It could be your mom's birthday or your parents anniversary anything and again whatever dough is left over roll it out to make any other shape preferred shape Tika? yeah the idea is to dust the And looking at the fact that we are not making these very big, so if you have a look, it's so cute. There is my oven telling me it's ready at 175 degrees. Uh, can do it in an air fryer, but I will be making another concept of the donut, uh, a different concept. So my idea of doing the cook show here for youngsters is just to show you what I can do. I'm sure you have great ideas. Koi bhi seva karni is very hard. You get bantered a lot by the community. We have to be strong headed. This seems to be my favorite. They come out such a clean cut. I've also shown you that how we can use this flour. So I'm going to put the two trays. It would take less than 20 minutes and 175 degrees. Be putting them down for about 12 minutes and keep an eye and into the second half of the show whilst we've got the desiccated coconut to coat I'll be taking you on to a journey of making savory cauliflower buns I've got my cauliflower here I've got my garlic powder my chili flakes my herbs my baking powder onion seeds and let's get the set changed into the second recipe of this Wednesday's cook show. Stay tuned. So, छे देशां विच देखे जा रहे अकाल चैनल दे कोल दुनिया रे किसे भी कोने तो लाइव या डी लाइव करने दी पूरी टेक्नोलॉजी मजूद है तो हड़ा सारा प्रोग्राम हाई डेफिनेशन ते कवर किता जावेगा जे तुसी गुरु महराज दे पैगाम नू कारगार तक पहुंचाना चाहते हो ता आज ही प्रोग्राम रिकॉर्ड करवाओ ली संपर्क करो 0770274890 पे coconut flour donuts the following ingredients a quarter cup of coconut flour a pinch of salt a quarter teaspoon of bicarbonate soda three tablespoons of eggless mix that in a little water quarter cup of agave syrup half a teaspoon of vanilla essence a quarter cup of unsalted butter or I used a quarter cup of coconut oil blend all the ingredients together make it into a flat patty and cut donuts of any shape or biscuit cutters that you have 
or round ring donuts as preferred. Bake that for about 20 minutes at 175 degrees in the oven. Can take them out when they are piping hot. Can add strawberry jam with a drizzling of uh, desiccated coconut. The next recipe was the cauliflower buns. You need one and a half cups of pureed or mashed cauliflower organic which must be blended in a blender to make it like a rice grain. You need one tablespoon of white flour, half a teaspoon of coconut flour, one tablespoon of uh, egglex mix, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, one eighth uh, or a pinch of salt, a quarter teaspoon of the onion seeds, a quarter teaspoon of any other seeds that you like and a half a teaspoon of dried garlic salt, one teaspoon of onion salt. Mix all the ingredients together, preheat your oven at 200 degrees or cook that in an air fryer on flour dusted baking tray just drop the thick consistency leaving some space in between for the buns to rise serve that with a potato bake the ingredients were as follows one small onion chopped saute that in one teaspoon of rapeseed oil with jeera and mustard seeds to temper drop in the chopped onions, vegetables of your choice and I used mushrooms, uh, about three mushrooms, one third pointed pepper, one third uh, of courgette, mushrooms of your choice and any other vegetables that you prefer and I also used some chopped, uh, about a third of the carrot. Saute the vegetables in that leave to cook for about four minutes add in four big generous ladens of plumped tomatoes ginger garlic and chilies to taste with garam masala and any other herbs and coriander take a bowl and layer that uh, all the vegetables mashed or boiled and mash down four fluffy potatoes or Edwards potatoes are the better choice mash them water free completely and add in good two heaped teaspoons of butter season the mashed potatoes with garlic salt ginger uh, salt garam masala chili flakes oregano or any other herbs of your choice uh, layer that down on top of the casserole add in the small peas and uh, dollop about a quarter teaspoon of butter all over the casserole bake that in the oven for about 20 minutes or till the potatoes are brown and crispy if you prefer to use that in an air fryer at about 195 degrees it should cook in and brown in under eight minutes serve that with a salad or a summer salad of your choice If I have a look, they are rising beautiful and if we can have the cameraman close up, uh, they have almost risen a third extra and uh, absolutely looking wonderful. So let's go on to the savory dish before we will take you on to the final one in this part of the cook show. Here I've got a cup and a half of pureed cauliflower, has to be organic folks. Get organic cauliflower, toke in salted water in hot water blend it with the stock so you know in the interim of preparation we have to do quite a bit to get the production done in time so in goes in quarter teaspoon of salt quarter teaspoon of a little bit over quarter teaspoon of soda bicarb a quarter teaspoon of uh, garlic powder fresh uh, sorry um, garlic salt using the mix of uh, one tablespoon of organic uh, coconut oil with the egg free mix and the flax all going in there 
In this I'll be adding in literally half a tablespoon of coconut flour, nothing more. So a tablespoon of the white flour. Mix that all up. Adding in uh, onion uh, granules just half a teaspoon and then whatever n seeds you want and herbs I'm going to be using oregano chili flakes half a teaspoon and onion seeds half a teaspoon all that will go a milestone Ji ha, wonderful fragrance. Donuts are ready. You can see how fluffy and soft they are. Different concepts for the children. And I'm going to leave the oven on at the same temperature when I do my cauliflower buns. What we can do quickly is to, uh, as they're still hot, so uh, put some agave dropping and stick the coconut. If your child doesn't like it, just a drop. Of the agave stick the desiccated coconut and you got a wonderful concept no chocolate no heavy sweetened stuff this is a natural sweetener safe for some other conditions so just take that dust it down you can use strawberry jam if you so like and my star baker the flour I'm going to leave it upside down coated and there is a wonderful array of different concepts of donuts so this is the cauliflower buns just drop them in any shape or form drop it's like you know scones just drop the thing or you can put it in a bread bin a uh, bread uh, tray give each bun room to rise Tika. and a small one that I need to shift something from here for about 30 minutes in but in that time we'll be using and uh, creating another recipe to share it with the buns stay tuned while I prepare the set for the next part of the show what to serve those uh, buns with uh, looking at the donuts for your kids can use raspberry jam good homemade jam or uh, but nothing too sweet and enjoy that piping hot after this little short break. Jiha, what are we going to serve these wonderful cauliflower buns with? It's going to be a vegetable uh, potato bake, uh, something that I have not done. So here we'll go in ripseed oil, doing the uh, onions or shallots, whatever is preferred by you. Uh, so a tablespoon add a half of rapeseed oil knowing that rapeseed oil does uh, survive high smoke compared to any other oil so heat that up we'll be adding in jeera one teaspoon rye which is mustard seeds one teaspoon let that make the crackling noise dropping in a uh, chopped onion one small chopped onion we are not going to overcook this just sweat it through quickly drop in the tomatoes semi cook the vegetables and then we are going to layer this in my casserole with good uh, fluffy potatoes which are pre mashed and just adding in herbs and uh, spices into the potatoes uh, adding in any vegetables I have used uh, red peppers organic carrots courgette mushrooms I'll be using shredded ca cabbage and carrots and using peas on the top of or inside 
the a layer of the potatoes so giving it a nice green color so dropping in the vegetables the tomatoes will go in later we need to glaze the vegetables so they don't lose their color or saute them lightly adding in the garlic half a teaspoon ginger a good teaspoon dropping in shredded cabbage use good organic cabbage we've got it on display here so as we are sauteing the vegetables they are glazing to maintain the color my cauliflower buns are looking grand dropping in you can even smell the aroma of the ginger and the garlic dropping in a good handful of fresh dhania chilies a teaspoon of good quality chilies as we're going to brown the potatoes and make them crispy on the top uh the vegetables will be still having a slow cooking uh kind of speed within it the casserole itself four ladens of uh, good plump tomatoes adding the salt the garam uh, the garam masala half a teaspoon of salt a bit of chili flakes oregano to give it that little taste onion salt and the smell is so wonderful drop in any herbs that you like i'll be using coriander or whatever you've got at home and this is ready to go into my casserole there and that goes into the casserole we're going to take the potatoes and spice them up a bit so just so small was literally half a carrot uh half a uh, courgette one third of a pointed pepper four mushrooms and this is the abandoned dish i've made you can prepare this while your children are playing in the garden so you know you you can you know get them to eat their vegetables and greens lay that down i'll be taking now my mashed potatoes but i'll be spicing them because they're going to be a bit bland i'm going to add them in a bigger bowl to allow me to give it a good thorough so adding in butter nothing wrong for butter for your kids to create a good two tablespoons of butter goes into there sometimes i can be very generous the other times when i it's like a no no then avoid those things but nothing wrong with butter and mash go together adding in a teaspoon of salt level it out if children are eating don't add the chilies otherwise adding a bit of a teaspoon of chilies garam masala so good 3 quarter teaspoon to give it its vibrant taste of indian herbs and spices if you like your potatoes bland so be it have it bland folks so that looks lovely i'll be adding this on top and then just squashing down something that i've got right here in front of me is the peas so just put that layer down that too goes into the same oven and just going to stab that down and cover the vegetables so they don't leak out the juices uh and we want to make the potatoes crispy you can use an air fryer which will be a quicker process of browning your potatoes which will be literally half the time taking in the peas and now just stabbing them into the potatoes so they look the green shows because if you mix them all up you might not get to see the potato uh, the peas 
So that was really a three quarter little bowl of mine to give it a good coverage. I'm going to take more dollops of butter, literally by hand, and uh, you know, add them on top of the potatoes. And that will help the potatoes to brown. Uh, the other option is if you want to add cheese and you're a very cheese buzz person, you can add cheese. But we are trying to go for a slightly healthier concept of using the cauliflower uh, without adding any dairy in it. And finally, just a little bit of oregano on top to give it that wonderful taste. You can add black pepper if you wish. And that also goes into the oven for about 20 minutes to brown. And we'll be taking this out and doing the full display of the donuts, the cauliflower buns, and a wonderful mashed potato casserole after the short break. Jiha, welcome back. Uh, oven's done the cooking, the casserole. My mashed potato casserole is beautifully browned. And these are my cauliflower buns serving that with a potato mixed veg casserole so just going to serve, put my buns here they're still piping hot the fragrance is lovely and that was with one and a half cups of uh, Maybe take out the small one and put all the ones that look alike. Serving the casserole, folks. Pinch it down. Take as much as you can. Wonderful. And that smells gorgeous and lovely. And that, folks, is the casserole. I hope that you can serve with anything that you like. Maybe with a ketchup, with a chutney or a chili sauce. Anything you like. And there's so much here. We've got six buns, actually seven. I did add more to the, my constitution, but we'll give you the recipe. Follow the recipe. Enjoy this and have a wonderful uh, picnic in your patio or in your garden. And that should give you um, good energy. Serve that with a wonderful salad. I've got a great salad here with the crinkle cut vegetables. And we'll just show you uh, the second into my next show how I created this so I hope you've enjoyed this savor this enjoy this treat your kids to something different from wheat to cauliflower buns take care of yourself and each other another show stay tuned with Manjeet Kaur taking you to a mission of good healthy summer foods goodbye Satsukal and Kohari <laughs>